I just want to give a shout out to all my homies. Let's actually, no, let's not give a little shout just out to all my homies. Just because we don't have any friends doesn't mean we can't Red Lobster, <laughs> aka Gingerbread Boy. She's, yo, she's uh, part of the hater crew. Hater, right? oh. Good morning, this is Kaylee Rogers. You're listening to The Morning Buzz on WHITradio.org. Good morning. Um, it is a nice half day out today, uh, but sadly, I am the last of the Morning Buzz crew, <laughs> Kaylee Rogers. Everyone else is graduating. But with me today are two special guests, um, Tony and Debbie, Yay, who are hi. both juniors. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> So you'll have some friends next year. Yes. Yay. <laughs> it's always good to have friends. Um, also with me in the studio is Mr. DePiro and Ms. Pacino. Hello. Hi, Yay. everybody. Uh, I'll, I'll start the show off with a nice quote of the day. Um, the eyes, those silent tongues of love from Miguel de Cervantes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes. That sounds so foreign. Cervantes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like, it's nice because it kind of goes kind of saying that the eyes go beyond body language and kind of convey messages that the words can't really just say. It's, it's a nice kind of touch. Do you know <laughs> nice that, uh, Kelly, 90% of communication is nonverbal. That's actually really cool. Yeah. That's really so cool. People think you only communicate with your words. Well, that's only about 10% of it. It's your body language, your posture, your gestures. Uh, where you position yourself, everything gives off a message. So, yeah, that's actually a real. That's actually really cool, and it brings us to our next segment: the random facts from Morning Buzz awesomeness. <laughs> Whoa, the, wow. Yes. No, no Chuck Norris, I hope. No Chuck Norris facts. <laughs> no, no, that's done. Um, <laughs> the first one is: in a year, the average person walks. Four miles to make it to their bed. Wow. Uh, I feel like lot. I would end up just, just for being tired, I would make it at last longer, just slowly walking, just like, oh my gosh, I'm <laughs> fine. <laughs> Do you know that when a person lives to about 80 years old, they've spent three years on the potty? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Oh, God. It's a long time. I don't yeah. think I can show a picture of that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Um, one that I think is really interesting, um, frozen lobsters can come back to life when they're thawed. Wow. wow. Oh, it's just like, like Walt Disney. Wow. Yeah. Like two days Did ago. I know that. It's like if you freeze a frog then, and then thaw it and then you can... Do you realize how fly. inhuman we are to <laughs> lobsters? Yeah. We boil them alive? Yeah, that's I mean, that that's, good. I mean, that's really inhuman. Yeah. It's cool. in, in yeah, anything. I mean, it's crazy. It's 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 bizarre. I don't really like lobsters, so I'm just kind of like. Duh. I like seeing them in the tank. <laughs> like, I, I was always scared that they would like come out and like try and They're kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, don't touch me. I feel so sorry for them when I look at, at them in the tank. I know they're they're uh, they're bound for somebody's dinner plate. So uh, yeah, you know. Poor lobsters. It's not fun. <laughs> And um, the last one, rats can tell the difference between two human languages. That's weird. Wow. That's, weird That's just weird. That's, how, do you, how do you know that? I don't know. I think they like did like scientific testing, like saying something in English and then saying it in like Spanish. Or you can they actually understand it, or is it just able to tell the difference that this is one language and this is another? I think I think like being able to tell the difference, like someone saying like, okay, well, go get the cheese in English, and then saying the same thing in Spanish and doing and then they're doing the same motion or stopping something in a different language mm. like, huh that's actually I, I actually wanted to know more about that I'm gonna have to do some research away from the show okay. like how are you doing this um, little vermin <laughs> yes I don't like rats the little vermin they're, they're weird no some of them are not that little either no they're not no <laughs> um, well last Friday I went to go to see the movies but the box office for Monday after the weekend was Man of Steel at number one, uh, which came out Friday, which was I, I really want to see. I heard it was pretty good. Yeah. Got ve- uh, got Matt better uh, box office than <laughs> they thought. Yeah. yeah Hundred three like, million was it? Yeah, it's um actually Monday it's twelve million th- uh, five over five thousand. 
Twelve million five hundred eighty-five thousand and five dollars. Wow. Twelve million. Twelve million. <laughs> that's all they made. Twelve million. Well, that's just because Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm sure it's one hundred and twelve million. You sure? Well, right now, uh, right now it's one hundred and sixteen million. Uh, now. One hundred and sixteen million dollars. But uh, just from the weekend, it was just yeah. twelve million. But now it's jumped up yeah. incredibly. Okay. <laughs> but I, I think it's a nice take because it's kind of <laughs> like what would really happen if a random alien came saying, "I'm here to save the world." Like, whoa. Oh, I'm probably I'm probably sure you're not, but <laughs> he looks I'll try like he's got a cool new uniform too. He it's, does. It's, it's like, like dark blue. It doesn't have blue, the underwear on the metallic. outside. Yeah, <laughs> I also kinda, thought it was so awkward. Kind of looking yeah. very uh, yeah. chic there. And like the it's Matt Superman. Bomer. It's Matt Bomer. Come <laughs> on. He's amazing. <laughs> he's so cute. Um, <laughs> number two is this is the end, which is kind of like. A uh, popular comedy. Yeah, you saw that. I yeah, we saw that. it this weekend. It you should definitely go <laughs> see it. it <laughs> like if so you're funny. Like if you're into kind of like raunchy comedy, it's awesome. Because yeah, it has really has funny Hill, comedians. Seth Rogen, James, James Franco, Franco. <laughs> <laughs> and they play themselves. So so it's like they it's made them seem so much worse than they probably are in real life. Because it just seems so like bad such bad people it's like mm-hmm. i'm a good person why am i still here i i, I help out I'm like no you don't no. <laughs> it's actually it's actually kind of a nice buddy comedy and number three is now you see me which oh, i, I really saw wanted to see that one what is that about yeah i saw it's it like magicians right yeah magicians doing a like, cat and mouse game with like the fbi and oh, they're doing cool. like rob a robin hood thing stealing money from the rich and giving them to the people who have been messed up in life but I saw it, like, it. I feel like it ha- tried to have too many twists and turns. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And there's the yeah. bell. I got it. On that note, I'm yes. out. Bye, Debbie. It was nice bye. having you on the show for Thank a little you. bit. Boy, oh, boy. I love you yeah. Did we disturb you that much? <laughs> but um, just to quickly uh, wrap up the show, because I, too, have to leave soon. Oh, oh, fuck. But the one thing that uh, Now You See Me had was really good was Dave Franco. Oh, my God, Dave, Dave Franco. Dave Franco is so cute. Um, hey, before you go, we want to congratulate our two yes. graduates. Unfortunately, they are not with us in the studio this morning, but shout out, congratulations to Aaliyah and Lizette. And Brandon graduated earlier, so I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, uh, Barris, wherever you are, you know. Uh, I, you no know, one cares about you. You know, any, oh, no, well, you know. Uh, come back for the marathon show. Yeah. And, uh, wherever you are, and uh, you'll work. be here by yourself. Though we'll be yes. gone. Yes. But uh, <laughs> we, uh, Brandon was with us two years. Uh, mm-hmm. Lizette, the last of the Laquindas, uh, was here with us three years. I used to call all the girls in her first group Laquindas for some reason. <laughs> so she was Laquinda number three. And she moved up to Lake number one this yeah. year. Yeah. Well, um, it's been an awesome and short show. I hope tomorrow we can do some something a little bit longer. Yeah. Um, but I, we both have to rush off to class. So I'd like to thank Tony and Debbie when she was here, <laughs> Mr. Piero and Ms. Machino for coming in on the show this morning. Thank you. And thank you guys for listening. Tune in uh, every morning for the morning buzz. But not during the summer because I won't be here. <laughs> we won't be here. So no. we're coming back in September, hopefully. And, uh, but we will be here tomorrow. Year. We'll be here tomorrow. Yes, we will be yes, here tomorrow. Will. All right, guys. All right, have a fantastic day. And stay safe. <laughs> W-H-I-T. Radio.org.